Oh, I'm Rolla, I'm a graffiti artist. Sort of an, an illegal street artist. But um, where I paint, technically, never gets me in trouble. So yeah, I've been stopped four or five times this year for painting how I paint. And it's led to no charges, no fines. And I'm gonna show you why I think that is. So I've come up with a little general rule sort of system of where you can and can't paint. And normally, that'll lead me to be, you know, being able to do my stuff without any problem. So what I'm just doing at the minute is just taking a little stroll around, seeing if anything had been defaced, like so. Like that's ready to be gone over now, I could take that spot. But what I did have in mind at first was doing the board just around the corner here, so I'll take a little look at that. See if I can do that first. Generally speaking, what you want to be looking for if you're trying to do a bit of legal street art is a board like so, you know, abandoned building. Obviously, no one's caring about this. Now, if you come in and slap something on the bare brick there and the police roll up, they're probably going to take your paint. You're probably looking at a charge. You know, someone might still own this building. They are capable of phoning you if they want to, if they want to be cunts, but it's hardly unlikely. But on these boards, you're looking at Really, if you're unlucky, I heard that you can get a £50 fine, but I've yet to see one. So basically, you get free reign as long as it's a wooden board, something that's you know low cost to fix, whatever. Already not painted, that's another thing that helps you. You know, someone's took the time to paint it all simultaneously and make it look nice, that might factor into whether it's legal or not. But generally speaking, you're good to paint. So that's my outline chucked up anyway. Just doing a little fucking devil character I ain't even drew this one up before just freestyle it so this is the last actual painting I'm gonna do in this video today the third and final and as you can see this sort of wall like this how I'd judge it is if you were to go above that white scuff and damage them bricks up there that would probably be illegal but as long as it's underneath the damaged looking bricks you're probably alright I'm going to go over this one because it's been here a while taking up some space and someone's come and scribbled on it. Just going to do one of my Jew characters. Uh, it takes me five minutes to do. I should have just done one of them on the board back then, but I thought I'd try something new, a little demon character. But I need to work on them. They ain't quite got the flair, you know what I mean? But anyway, using a different coloured skin tone for the first time. That other one don't seem to pop in future. I'm always going to get this one. The caramel complexion, you know what I mean? Looks like it's been to... Tenerife for a couple of weeks, doesn't he? There you have it, another one of me uh, Jews up and out of bed, smoking piffs. Not my finest effort ever. I can see a line that I fucked up, but I'm already stepping back, so it's too late. Here's another prime example of a location which would be fine to paint, obviously. The wall's fucking faded anyway, it don't look good. It's an abandoned lot, has been abandoned for a long time. Another spot over there, sand to paint, not the actual glass of the building on, I think it was a little wooden board. You can see I've already got that. I was about to come and paint this little black tart spot here, because there was like the same design there, a woman bending over, but someone had come and blacked it out, finding it eventually. The gears has come back less than a week later and put another one on, so fair play to him. Another example of a spot right there that can and will be getting painted. That one's perfect, so I even got a bit of cover from the bush there. Another prime example of a spot which legal to paint. Some might think not so much that one, but if it's a board, you're good. Yeah. Now I'm going to come and do like a full spectrum piece on this because it used to be part of this Chinese, as you can see, turned into a mini market. So that's fucking free terrain right there. Even though normally you're talking, you know, it's a business sign, that's probably cost someone hundreds to make, sort of thing. Just to finish up the video, I thought I'd give you a couple examples of places that aren't so legal to paint but in this case I didn't care because it was a tribute to the lad who died in Nottingham rest in peace Barnaby and then after that I have my building site probably shouldn't have painted this one but fingers crossed should be no bother there just want to say a quick thank you to this geezer for doing this artwork for me shout out Sheng that's fucking quality that is mate probably the best bit anyone's done for me and then just as a little cherry on top, here is a Jew on a KX.